right, <clears throat> that is the white stout. And uh, it's the first time I've had it in probably a week or so, maybe. But anyway, yeah, it's Mike Dean clear. I think Mike Dean would approve of the clarity there. Alright guys, it's me, Wally. So, tonight's Tuesday night, tomorrow's Homebrew Weezy, Weezy, ow! Ow! So tonight, I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to do a side-by-side um, -side comparison between a white stout that was mailed to me and what I've made. So, they're not clones. But right now, let's turn this around. We'll go uh, sit down and talk. Alright, so... My white stout. And this is a white stout that I received in the mail. Now, oh, excuse me. And this one is just under 5%. Brewed in Plainfield, Indiana. So. This is Brew Link Brewing Company Ivory Stout White Stout Unfiltered Drink Fresh Malt Beverage with Natural Flavors Added. Um, let's see here. Smooth as silk white oatmeal stout with natural flavors added. A room of creamy oats, coconuts, vanilla, coffee. It pours white as day with a foamy, uh, frothy, creamy head that will leave your senses confused. So, I don't have any of that going on in mine. So, let's see if there's enough. Uh, same sameness. That's a word I just created that uh, kind of constitutes a comparison. Maybe we'll get something out of it. Well, it was clear. I just dumped a whole bunch of junk out of the can in there. So, looking at that color, um, I'd say it's pretty close. If this was, if I didn't dump everything out, I think we'd be pretty close. Um, but first, let's get to the goodies I bought. So I got, I got some new rubber feet for my fermenters. Now, this is exciting stuff, right? For the uh, root buckets, pretty exciting stuff. I got one that's uh, worn out, and it's actually inside the square tube. That's tilting on three legs. Pretty awesome stuff. So then this is the uh, Keglands um, Duo Type Flow Stopper Automatic Keg Filler. Now what this does, what it is, what it do, dump all this stuff out. So this screws in like this. This goes in there like that. This goes blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. So then you've got whoop, and this goes like bloop bloop bloop. Ah, and this goes in there like bloop. They'll push in farther than that. And this pushes in there like bloop. So they are. So as you're pushing beer into your keg, like pressure transfer, um, low oxygen transfer, whatever you want to call it, this side is threaded to go on. It'll fit on the um, threads of a uh, quick disconnect, and I don't have any here. But basically, that'll go on your quick disconnect, and as you're pushing beer into a keg, it'll fill fill this line, and it'll come up, and it'll push this ball up, then it'll stop. So you can actually fill the keg completely full. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So I'm going to venture down that rabbit hole again. Um, pressure transfer, kind of closed transfer, oxygen free transfer, all that stuff. So that's that. And, uh, yeah, pretty excited about it. So uh, yeah, so I'm working my way through SJ Poor beers. I got, I think, four down I'm going to do. After I get these down my throat, I'm going to go ahead and do another review. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. Ooh. It's got a ton of chocolate. 
more chocolate than coffee. I don't have any of that. So let's go. We'll just say chuck it and go in for mouthfeel. This is a sub 5% beer. Mm -hmm. Big mouthfeel. I think I've got a little bit more mouthfeel than this. Um, not getting any vanilla out of that. But the chocolate is, this is good. You guys can find this with White Stout. It's very good. Oh, really good, so. Mm. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Definitely not. Uh, 4.8 percent beer. You wouldn't expect that by drinking it. You think it's a much larger beer. Excuse me, combination. My beer's all right, not as good as this one, but I don't know what the base beer tastes like. So we'll say that. Um, so um, it's a really that's really kind of all I've been up to. Um, the weekend sports are done with for now until November first. Which I think that's a Friday, but my son starts uh, basketball then. So anyway, so I'm kind of ready to get back into brewing again. Not that I stopped, just uh, on a more convenient schedule for me. So, all you guys that are doing these SJ Core beers, I please, please, please do do some on do some cam up, get some videos on the internet. That's what this is about. SJ Poor. It's a YouTube online based beer community, right? So let's get some freaking people out. Get your, you don't even have to get your face on camera if you don't want to. You go back to the our annals, the annals of SJ Poor competition, and you'll find some of the original reviews. And it's basically a guy pointing a camera at a beer. You never see his face, you just hear his voice. This is what he does. Takes a drink, talks a little bit, takes a drink, talks a little bit, done and over with. That's fine. That's fine. So, but anyway, I'm just putting it out there. Please, we'd like to see that. All of us like to see that. So, anyway, guys, um, yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, see what happens. So, anyway, guys, I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this beer. <coughs> Ooh, that was good. Finish this one. Tastes like Tootsie Roll. Tastes just like a Tootsie Roll. So, alright guys. This time I'm out. Cheers. Peace.